Is it possible to make a self-tanning oil that will darken your skin during the winter months with no chemicals or cosmetic ingredients, but only with 100% natural oil? By the end of this video, I'm gonna answer that question. In today's video, I'm making a walnut oil and cocoa butter body butter. The link for the full recipe and printable material is directly below the video, so if you do want every little detail about this recipe, it's available for Mermaid and Siren level members in the Thermal Mermaid Recipe Directory. But today, we're gonna take a look at an interesting oil that you may be interested in during the winter months for its ability to darken your skin and offer you a self-tanning effect. And on top of that, it may also offer a natural sunscreen boost to your skin creams. The walnut tree is native to most of North America and its wood, leaves, fruit, and oils were used by the indigenous in just about every way that you can imagine from food to medicine to furniture. But sometime during the colonial contact period, it was discovered that the Cherokee people were using it as a sunscreen. They were processing the oil from the walnuts and putting it into their hair and on their skin for outdoor day wear. Now this detail could have just faded into lost memories, except when we look at some sunscreens on store shelves, walnut oil pops up as an occasional ingredient. So is this true? Let's take a look at my blend that I'm putting together. In a warm water bath, I have my water phase heating up to 160 degrees so that it will blend at the same temperature as my oils. And in my oil phase, I'm melting down cocoa butter, walnut oil, an emulsifier, and a thickener. These will all need to be brought to 160 degrees so that they'll blend together without rejecting each other. It turns out, if we look for some modern research on whether walnut oil offers sunscreen protection, we find a few studies that support this idea. In one 2021 paper published in the Journal of Pharmacognosy and Phytochemistry titled Ethnobotanical Assessment of Indigenous Knowledge of Plants Used as Sunscreen, it states that walnut oil's aqueous extract has shown to be effective as a self-tanning sunscreen agent. Its main chemical constituent is juglone, and that's been reported to have action with keratin proteins of the skin. Walnut is reported to have UV rays protecting. And in 2011, in the same journal, there was an article titled, The Potential of Herbs in Skin Protection from Ultraviolet Radiation. And this states that walnut extract is made from the fresh green shells of English walnut, Juglans regia. The aqueous extract has been shown to be particularly effective as a self-tanning sunscreen agent. Its most important component is juglone. A naphthol closely related to lawson. Juglone is known to react with the keratin proteins present in the skin to form sclerojuglonic compounds. And these are colored and they have UV protection properties. So this tells us that walnut oil creates a chemical reaction with a very top layer of the skin cells on the surface of your skin. This is your epidermis and these cells are dead. And inside these cells, you have a protein called keratin and the walnut oil darkens the keratin which blocks some of the sunlight to the cells under that surface layer. These cells will slough off and turn over every few days. And typically the self tanner that you'll see on store shelves has a cosmetic chemical included in it that makes it more effective of a product. But if you look closely, you may also notice walnut oil listed in the ingredients. It turns out walnut oil was used for other reasons, also by indigenous Americans and early settlers. And we'll go into that in another video because back at our table, I'm gonna blend the water phase and the oil phase together at a temperature of 160, and we're just gonna let this bind into a nice creamy texture. Time and temperature are the two factors that are gonna keep this butter into a rich cream in the texture that we want. And after about 10 minutes, this is going to start to look like a thick buttermilk. So I'm gonna set this aside to cool and I'm gonna let it set up over the next few hours so that we can come back and see just how rich and thick the final body butter is when we're done. Now, it's important to mention that if you do try to use this as a self-tanning cream or use it to protect yourself from the sun, 
Do not think of this as a sunscreen and do not make any assumptions that it will provide you with any level of SPF. In fact, even if you were to make a full-blown sunscreen recipe with zinc oxide and replicate a commercial formula, even then you cannot assume that you have any level of sun protection. SPF is tested in a laboratory and it's approved by professionals and that's just not something that we're ever going to be able to do straight out of our kitchen. However, there does seem to be a lot written about the compounds in walnut oil and it certainly would be interesting to experiment with just to see what it can do for you. So you let me know. Do you have any experience with using walnut oil as a skin darkening product? Are you an indigenous American that could possibly confirm that this is handed down information? And would you like to add any of your knowledge about the traditional use of walnut oil? Were any of your ancestors settlers who learned this along the way? And would you try this to darken and even out your own skin tone? Now for me, I have vitiligo around my eyes. And if you don't know, that's a harmless autoimmune disorder where there are patches of my body that just flat out has deleted spots of melanin. And in my case, it makes me look like a raccoon. And when I tan, it's even more defined. So you could see it very, very profoundly. Now, anyone can have an autoimmune disease. It affects all races and genders. And for me, I will definitely try this over the winter, specifically around my eyes to see if I can get my natural tone to blend and look more smooth. So this might be a reason where a subtle natural tanning product could be applied. Let me know what you think about trying this.